Uh, a judge tosses Joy-Con drift class action because of Switch's pop-up EULA end user license agreement. Yeah, this is big news. Because the Joy-Con drift problem has been like here for ever since the Switch came out. And since there is like a class action lawsuit, like they lost. And obviously this is a very clear problem. Kids can't sign the license, but that also doesn't give them the right to sue. So the end user license agreement, these things are wild and no one ever reads them. Yeah. And God knows what they say in them. I mean, they, they, it's like, we can do whatever we want. You can do nothing. And it's just a check mark. They're like, are something. you cool with that? And you're yeah. like, next. Agree. Next. And they're like, our joy cons can drift like crazy. You cool with that? And you're like, next, next. I, I got to play my Splatoon. I got to play my Zelda. Uh-huh. I got to play my Mario Kart. And Nintendo obviously knows, but they're not looking to fix it anytime soon. Potential class action lawsuit over the joystick drift experienced by Nintendo Switch owners has been dismissed with a federal judge ruling that Nintendo's end user license agreement for the console bars such lawsuits. In a filing from late November, but seemingly only recently, noticed by Games Media, William Alsup, U.S. District judges in the Northern District of California ruled that two plaintiffs, both minors, were not able to sue Nintendo because setting up the Switch requires agreeing to an EULA that has arbitration and forum selection cl clauses. The minors and their mothers were the original plaintiffs, but after an arbitrator ruled that the mothers couldn't pursue a claim because their children had accepted the EULA, they attempted to refile the case with the children as plaintiffs because Nintendo's EULA, EULA requires a person to be at least 18 years old. Well, in this case, you just refile a new class action with adult buyers of the yeah. system. And you're all set. Yeah. So I presume this is not the last that we hear of it. Because for sure we've had this in the past. And interesting little side note. I was over at the, um, the rink and I saw they had one of those electronics recycling mm. bins. And one of the kids just curious, waiting for to get picked up by his parent. He kind of opened the lid and he was like, "Hey, look, take, look at this PlayStation controller in the garbage can." Oh. And I was like, "Oh, that is weird." It was like mint condition, oh. one of those camo controllers. And I was like, "Wow, somebody just chucked that in there. Maybe it just needs a new battery or something." And he was oh. like, "Hey, you should take it and fix it." And I'm like, "Man, I can't be." I can't be, but it was in the garbage can. It's just a little side note for you. Maybe, oh. maybe it had some Joy-Con drift going on. Yeah. Thumbsticks. Yeah.